If you're getting ready to plan a getaway with your significant other, stay tuned and I'm going to give you some tips to make sure you are maximizing your money. Hey guys, Lindsay here with Mind Money Balance. I'm a financial therapist and I talk about all things related to getting your mind and money in balance. I love traveling as a part of a couple and today I'm going to walk you through some things that you can do or consider the next time you get ready to take a trip with your partner so you can save some money. Number one is lodging. No matter how you look at it, your dollar is going to go further when you are traveling with two people. For example, let's say as a solo traveler, you had a budget of $100 a night for hotels. Maybe once you bring your partner into it, that all of a sudden feels like only $50 a night, so then you can go a little bit further. The opposite way of that, if you really want to bump up your travel experience, is if you're still willing to pay that $100 a night, Imagine that your partner also throws in $100 a night, boom, you've just upgraded your lodging, so now your budget is $200 a night. Number two is you get to double those credit card rewards. If you haven't checked out my video on how to get started travel hacking, be sure to click on that up there. The nice thing is when you travel with a partner, you have two people who can earn those rewards. A lot of the credit card rewards, points, and miles also let you share miles and points in between accounts if you guys are married, so that's something to consider if maybe you have 15,000 points and somebody else has 6,000 points and um, a redemption is 20,000 instead of waiting for one of you guys to get there you can just combine those points and make sure that you can use them to your advantage number three is sharing meals this is especially true if you are traveling in North America most meals in North America are huge so when you go out to dinner just ask for a second plate and then you can share that meal um, and then you also have more room for dessert, which is always a bonus. Number four is using cash back sites like Ibotta or Ebates. So each of them are essentially online coupons, um, but you don't have to worry about the clipping or the codes or anything like that. So what you do is you shop through them on their website or on their app, and you get anywhere between one and 10% cash back, which is huge. Ebates is a little bit better at helping you save money when it comes to online stores, whereas Ibotta is a little bit better at helping you save and get cash back on those brick and mortar stores. So be sure to check those out, especially if you're already going to be buying things for your trip anyway, make sure that you're getting some money back. Number five is travel in shoulder season. Shoulder season is just a fancy way of saying off of the peak travel season. So if you're traveling just as a couple, the good news is you don't have to contend with kids which means you can save money by traveling outside of the times that most people have vacation so for example maybe instead of traveling those three weeks around spring break that are really popular for most people you can travel a little bit before or a little bit after and get discounts why because those hotels and airlines are still trying to make sure that they have customers to fill those spaces so they tend to drop those prices outside of those peak seasons so if you're traveling as a couple, travel off of the holidays and you usually will tend to save a little bit more money. Number six is share a bag if you are flying. Most places now are gonna charge you anywhere from 25 to $40 for a bag. So if you can cram all of your stuff into one person's bag, you're in good shape. I know that sounds a little bit crazy, um, but if you know me at all, you know I love my travel packing cubes. All they are are these little nylon bags with zippers. You stuff your clothes in them, and then when you zip them up, it kind of compresses them. So it's kind of like one of those um, vacuum seal bags, but without the vacuum seal. So anyway, if you have travel cubes, you can shove all your clothes into them, zip them up, and throw them in one bag. The problem is that the bag will probably be heavier, but you're still only paying for one bag. Number seven is if you're traveling internationally, do some shopping and duty free before you come home. Duty free is more than just wine and beer and liquor. They often have things like perfume, makeup, clothes, different food items, so you can get a lot of your shopping done on the cheap. That really doesn't have a ton to do with couple travel, except that, like everything else here, you can double the amount that you can bring home. So those are my tips on how to save money if you're traveling as a part of a couple. What did I miss? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to click on that subscribe button so you're always staying up to date on all things getting your mind and money in balance. See you in the next video.